gonna try and pull up some references real quick. Oh, hi, Poofy. Thank you for the lurk. So, basically, we've got this pretty cool, uh, he's a toucan griffin. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and I want to do some sketches. Excuse me. To get, like, the full body design down. Um, I was trying to think what I want to do with that. I think just like a side profile and a- I only really need a side profile, I think. Just to get ideas down. Where's my pen? I swear, it vanishes every time. There it is. Um, but oops. So, I'm going to hit this button. It's good. So, because it's a griffin, and griffins are technically like lion horses, you know? Um, I'm thinking of using as a reference um just for like starting the anatomy and stuff although i guess i guess i should look up a reference as well for the front because it's like lion right liony though i do want to use the toucan legs for the front legs so <laughs> bonk <laughs> uh either way our space will go from there you know, let's talk even more drawing in that, right? The weird thing though is, um, I don't think I've, I don't think I've really drawn a toucan before. Um, so this is like an interesting experience. <laughs> of uh, learning that. Cool eye. He needs a bigger <laughs> Kinda cute. The thing with horses though is they have very like barrel bellies. You know? Have... Uh, I gotta draw wings too. <laughs> when you forget, you gotta draw wings. I wanna definitely try and base the wings off of toucan wings, but um, I don't know how to. <laughs> I'm not sure what the difference is. Hi, Cosmo. Uh, I'm doing pretty good, I guess. I had a really nice uh brunch. I was gonna say breakfast. For me, it's breakfast. <laughs> oh, is Hannah? Oh, Hannah's also here. Hello. I kind of okay. This is the thing I like to do with horses, cause normally you just have like. Of like this, like the skinny little hoof. I like to make it look chonky though, and like fluffy. That's just a design choice though. You're gonna cry? Why? No crying. That's that's not allowed. Well, crying is allowed. It's good to do sometimes, but don't cry.
This chalky voice. I forgot about you. No, I didn't. I didn't see your first message. I'm sorry. Actually, this leg is really short. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I know how to do it. Okay. I don't know if you guys know that if you've ever been like around horses and stuff, they like to do the this thing sometimes. Do they have, like, their foot pointed down? I'm not exactly sure why they do that. But I I've seen them do it. And it looks aesthetic to have them do in drawings, so, you know. But that's what we're doing. These are just sketches, though, so, uh... <laughs> like, still looks- maybe it's because the front leg is so short? I think it's- I think I want the front legs longer. Yeah, we'll make it a little wider. I think that helped. A little bit. They relax their legs? Yeah! Main head of camels if that counts true. You don't trust horses? Okay, honestly, like... Oh, hey, Scratch. I like horses. I used to be, like, one of those horse kids, you know? Um... So I used to, like, be super into them. And of course I was super into My Little Pony and things, you know? Um... But, like... I don't know. Horses aren't that bad. They are kind of scary, though. I've been bit by a horse. Very rude. Okay, so now the front legs are gonna be toucan legs. So now I gotta look up a toucan because I forgot to do that. Even though that's literally what I'm basing the design off of. Um, the thing I thought would be fun because apparently, okay, I'm learning a lot about toucans by looking at them. You don't trust any animal? You don't trust what? <laughs> You wouldn't trust Fat Boy? I trust Fat Boy. Um, but the things with toucans is sometimes they have like uh, white or gray legs, and sometimes they have blue legs. And I love the blue legs. So I, I want the. Um... So the thing is, I don't like to use straight black, right? Like, uh, in the sketch I did, you can see that this is very warm tone. Because I am a sucker for warm tones. Um, and this is sort of like more cool tone. Um, so what I did for this shade, which I think I'm going to go for more of this color because it looks darker. Um, is basically I used this dark brown and then I put a dark blue on top. And then I put more blue on it to make it look dark. So it's it's not black. It's like... <laughs> you know what I mean? So we'll see where I go with that. Um... I forgot what the point of that statement was. I guess I just don't like to use black, is what I'm saying. Because it just looks, uh, very harsh in my brain. Wait, do we give them a horse tail? Hold on. I have to look at what Cosmo sent <laughs> me. Uh, hold on, I'll read chat in a second. Ah. Um... Yeah, so it's a winged creature, four limbs of a majestic bird, and hind legs of a horse. So would they have a horse tail? We might go for, like, a unicorn tail, I'm thinking. Trust any animal more than pretty much any person? Honestly, valid. That boy is cute and trust him with my life. <laughs> You're colorblind, Cosmo? Oh, wow. That's cool. Well, probably not that cool, but <laughs> it's interesting. I'm gonna give him a unicorn tail. Uh, black is not a color; it's mentality. All right. Underleaf feather tail. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. Okay, how do I draw two and leggies? Let's 
This is a very like stiff pose, but that's okay. I'm just trying to get anatomy down and then we'll figure out more holes and they're so skinny. You can't have like really skinny legs though. Oh, can you imagine him just being like <laughs> that doesn't look very good, but it gets my point across. Just being like able to grip things with his front legs. That's so cute. Black is mindset? Alright. That's definitely how that works. See, the funny thing is I'm trying to do like horse uh, shoulder and stuff and then it just goes to like Leggy. <laughs> yeah, I think that looks a bit better. We're going more into like... I don't know. I guess cat-dog anatomy-ish for this front leg. Which is okay, because like literally, I swear, drawing a horse's front legs, I don't know how or why, they always mess me up. So like, this is fine. <laughs> Rar XD. <laughs> okay, let me pull back my other reference. So what his other leggy well Yeah, it's fine. We're gonna do it. That would be here. It's gonna go forward like a this. And he's got little claws. So cute. Are claws cute? Yeah. I guess so. Wait, if it's that, that, yes, yeah, so the fur would come down to like here. And then I'll, I'll probably fade it in and maybe add feathers on this bit of the legs, you know? It's like fluffy, fluffy feathers. Does that help them fly? Maybe. I don't, know. I don't know anything about animal anatomy. Everything I draw is looking like a bird. <laughs> you just sit there and you're like, "I'm gonna draw a dog." Uh oh, it's a bird. <laughs> It's actually really funny. I'm sorry. I don't mean to make fun of you. Now we get to draw wings! So we're gonna move him down here. Um, I have to look up what toucan wings look like. Because uh, different birds have different wings. Uh, I usually like to use dove wings or like sparrow wings. Just like in general, um, because they're they're just really common wings, you know. Ah, oh, toucans have like funky. Do they have colors on the inside? Gala toucan is that a different type of toucan? Okay, no, it's just like a type of kite. Okay, that's a really cool idea, though. I don't think toucans normally have color on the inside of their wings, but like, we're going fantasy over here, so we can do whatever we want. So like the outside will be black, but on the inside of their wings have color, would be super cool. Oh, here's a nice attack Jeremy. but he's got some white on his wings. The rings are really weird. They're like big and chonky. And you can't really see it because they're so black. It's so dark. You can't really see the inner feathers. They honestly, they just kind of look like... Yeah. The wings will connect off the shoulder and then... Oh wait, no, no, no other way. They go out up like that. <laughs> and then they literally just swoop. 
which is like so weird. Also, the swing is giant. But uh, hmm. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Though it is, these wings have to get a big horse boy off the ground. To be fair. Hmm. It's very feathery, and then you can't really see the inside. So I might end up going off of that kite that I found. Though I don't think it really shows. Uh, sort of. Sh okay. So hold on. We have the shoulder bit here, and this is gonna stay black and fade out. And then. Got these feathers blend into that. These that go eh, make these a bit longer. Looks kind of awkward though. <laughs> but then we have these feathers that go here, and then these are like the big primaries. I think that works. Yeah, that looks a bit better, so it actually has like, a bit of anatomy, even though I have no idea what I'm doing. I used to draw in two hands. Let me just have another wing. Ooh. Oh, right. Um. Ale. I draw my first hand. Yeah, they got pretty chunk tails. I'm thinking, right? We got big feathers here. And then we got sort of a unicorn tail going. Does this work? I don't know. Or actually, hold on, instead of like little spiky feathers, we have... a bird tail on top. And then horse tail underneath? I don't know. What is this creature's anatomy? It, uh, it works, I guess. I like the big fluffy bird tail. I'm down with that. Not exactly sure about the unicorn. I wanted to try and do it, but I, I don't know if that works. <laughs> okay, we have wings. We have trunk legs. We have... Bird leg. We have this. What am I missing? Oh yeah, he's got his little, little ears I gave him. Yeah. Eek. Um. <laughs> Thank you, Donut! Yeah, so it goes around like that and down. Okay. This goes around. Uh, oop. A bit of a white belly. Probably give him like some white spots. That would be cute. The idea is oh, they're flowing. Sort of. Um. some hair. Yeah, we got the feather. Alright. 
I think I've listened to this playlist too many times. I think we're gonna add like this, like a collar, sort of. The others. He he's got to be extravagant. Them's the rules. This will look better when I color it, I swear. Or when I do more final version. This is like a hit sketch. See, this this is what happens when I sketch. It just starts looking like a mess. <laughs> uh, but I think it's good enough. We got like all the trunk feathers in here. Definitely give him feather mane. Um... I think I'm just gonna throw some colors on. I think that's about it for the, like, design. I'll decide if I like this later or not. Catch you look as good though? Ooh. More? <laughs> also ignore the fact his wings are off the page, that's fine. That's how it be sometimes. Um Yeah, so basically we're gonna do all dark brown based on our oh color, tone, whatever. Liner <laughs> Wow. I meant to say based off of my liner color, because that's what I like to do. And I know you look at this and you're like, ah, oh, the liner. It's okay. It's still there. So we multiplied the line art, and it looks cool. Oh yo, hi guide! Thank you for the sub! It's been 14 months, that's insanity. I, uh, I've been trying to break my art block and I cry, man. Okay, do that, and then we do this. Sort of. Just need to multiply that. I make it less. Good enough. Um. Oh, right, I need to put the dark blue over it. We'll do like that. It's not a clipping mask. Okay. So like, see, it's just like a sort of bluey, warm tone gray. I don't know. But I like it. So I'm thinking... It's not that. Do yellow feathers? Then we do green. Then they have blue feathers as well. I think that was a big thing, so I'm gonna do. Hold on. Yeah, he's got blue, green, yellow, red. So. Maybe we do blue on the ends? Red here. I don't know, does that work? Obviously it's not gonna be so blocky when I do it. kind of works. I'm kind of with it. Smudge these so they look a little better. What color did I use for his belt? I 
think it's like more warm arm sort. Oh, that's why it's not showing up. Yeah, there we go. It's more of a cream, but that's okay. Like I said, sucker for warm toads over here. And what I was thinking is we give him... I don't want the... Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll block in things first, because I don't want it to be too crowded. I kind of like the spots. Like... Maybe just around? Figure that out. <laughs> There's a lot of things to figure out. Um, and then we'll do this on top of the letter. Brighter yellow. Uh, hold on. I think these are big feather here. Yeah, so the uh, big feather. That's okay. So they like curl up from uh, the, the shoulder. Look okay. I don't know what I'm doing. in yellow is place Crowded, it just I don't like it. Maybe the main goes out in taller than feathers. I sketched it. Right, we're just gonna try and erase it. Do that first tail to put these longer more fully. Oh. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I'll think on that. Imagine what noise this thing would make. Uh, what sound does a toucan make? I know they like chirp or whatever, but. noise do you make friend it's an odd get out of here all my homies hate ads
They talk about Fruit Loops? Yeah, obviously. So this oh. is the croaking sound the two cans make. I like to say it's a cross between a frog. They croak. That's cute. They go like, Arr. Oh, this one does have a bit of weight on his the end of his feathers. Okay, cool. We will do that. Hmm. We'll see. I think I need to add the colors on top of the yellow. I think it being just dark yellow maybe is what's throwing me off. I don't know. Oops. So we got the blue. It looks kind of funny. Uh, it's hard to switch to mobile because your laptop- Oh, I see. Honestly, valid? Like... <laughs> Big mood. He looks... I don't know how to describe what this looks like. <laughs> we add some green. That's fun. Oh man. So many feathers. So we can do this to sort of better that. Just so this sketch looks a little louder. I realize that these colors I'm using are kind of muted. I should definitely go a bit uh, brighter with them for sure in the end. I might even end up using a... Uh, what do you call it? Color dodge or something. It's like, yeah. I'm so... <laughs> I like using midtones. So, yeah, we definitely brighten these up quite a bit. That looks a lot nicer. He is a bright boy, extravagant good boy. It's what he deserves. And like I was saying, I like the little bit of white on the edge. Like. Maybe he has like markings on the end over the blue. Cause um I really like drawing hawk wings when they have like a little V shape in their wings. So maybe he's got something like that. I also need to color over this leftover feather. I think I wanted to add markings on his face, even though Toucan still really have them. This guy's fantasy, so again, we do whatever we want here. I forgot the orange. <laughs> Got distracted with making him brighter. Oops. Yellow, there we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think the brighter color definitely. Nice. Right? Look how extravagant the boy is. Maybe I should look up, um, like cockatoo or something. So maybe he's got like big bird mane. Cause I like the idea of these coming up like this. But I like this shape. Maybe I just need more feather here. Hold Sort of. Yeah, that filled it in. I think that actually helped. Maybe I have more blue in here. Oh yeah, his legs are blue. I was gonna say, where else am I gonna incorporate this bright blue? So that's the thing with colors, right? Is, um... It is nice when you have, like, one spot, like, this bright blue up here. But that's gonna, like, really draw your eye. So I want to try and incorporate that bright blue elsewhere. So that, like... You know, it looks more incorporated. The nice thing about this, too, is it's got... Blue, red, green, yellow, orange, which is five colors. I don't normally use that many colors in a design. Um, I usually pick like a good three, but toucans are so colorful, you know? And I want him to be a pretty boy, so. <laughs> the other toucans seem to have sometimes is they have like a red fluff near their butt, and I really like that, so we're, we're gonna incorporate that as well. <laughs> I just think it's kind of funny. A red flop. Um, let's just give him a beak. I think I was going with orange and green for the beak design. Because, uh, chickens actually tend to have, uh, different beak colors and different, like, designs. I'm giving you. Yeah, orange, greenish. Oh, cool. Oops. Wrong layer. Wrong layer times two. Times three. Oh, where is it? There it is. Doing some little markings. A bit lighter. Then grab green. Thing here. Yeah, good enough. I, I know what's going on with the beach. Maybe we do get rid of the tail. I don't know. I feel like having that plus the tail as much. Bonk. So I'm gonna add blue over here. Yellow orange around his head. It's gonna definitely draw attention to there. Not sure where else to incorporate that. Maybe we do keep the tail. Hmm. I think make it thinner.
Maybe just smaller. Hold up. Still too big. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Um. Yeah, because griffins actually normally do have the little fluffy tail. Maybe we make it longer? I don't know what's wrong with it. I kind of like the fluffy tail. Maybe you do make it longer. tail okay maybe maybe we do keep the tail it looks kind of majestic that's what we're going for See, again, though, I don't want it to be too busy. This is designed. spot that draws your eye is definitely we have wings we have head we have bright feet wait what if we make his uh what if the hooves are bright blue that's kind of funky funky fresh um hmm yeah, I think if anything, having the base black is really good because you just- you need like a area to rest your eyes, you know? So I'm thinking make these fluffy bits smaller, maybe make them like only a tiny bit of color on them. Then of course fades up into wind. Okay, I think that helped. Maybe. Let's see. Maybe we'll add color into the tail too. On the edge, just so it's like same thing. Got red floof. For some reason, is down here. I don't know. Does that look weird? We'll find out. <laughs> Maybe it's like the top of the tail is red and it fades down. Maybe his tail is red. I don't know. Maybe his tail's rainbow. Actually, I don't know. I'm kind of digging just the red. Maybe it's just red and yellow. Okay, that's kind of a funky tail, right? Give it a pink bracelet. Hell yeah. It's a sick bracelet. Okay, honestly, I'm kind of liking the tail now. Okay. 
I think this is a decent design. Maybe we'll make the colors on the inside of the wing more muted though? At least these colors, hold on. We'll see. Okay, I think, I think that helps. Cool, cool, cool. We save. <laughs> Colin! What's up, my guy? It's lovely, it's nice, it's not decent. Okay. <laughs> He's kind of cute. Hello. Long time to see. It hasn't been that long, I'm sure, but. I hope you're doing well. Decent is not enough. <laughs> All right. Now we. I'm gonna look up some ideas of poses so I can give him a cool final pose. Um. Rather not answer that. Life is whack. Oh, valid. See, the thing is, is I have the stats for this creature. Like, I don't know how to give him a cool pose and make him look like a dandy. You know what? I have a dandy book. Hold on. Where art thou book? I mean, what's a better reference making a dandy thing if it's a dandy book? Where is my book? I move it. Did I? He sketched. I think if it's in here, it's in the bottom. Google Griffin, true. Okay, I think it's in that drawer, but I think it's in the bottom of the drawer, so I'm not... <laughs> I'm not digging for that. Why have you sent a link to Lego? I already saved good. Uh, we're gonna put all this in a folder. Um. Oh, that's not the link. Okay. That's a cool pose. You do something like that. Yeah, I do think I need to change the size of this canvas. Um, what's the size of like a piece of paper? Like twelve? No, eleven by nine. Eight by nine. No, it's like eleven by eight. Eleven by nine. So I think I swap these numbers so I make it top. I'm gonna clip a little bit on those sketches, but that's okay. Yeah, hmm. Wait, hold on.
Oh, oops. Hey, we just move him over and he's good. Um... Does he look fantasy enough? That is the question. Hold on. I think I'm gonna try a thing. Change the tail a little bit. And then we can like layer it. Okay, yeah, I kind of like that tail. Maybe we make this top tail smaller. <laughs> Oh, I think I know what's up. This one's too long. Uh, honestly, that's what I was thinking. Maybe give him horns. Like, I feel like that might be a bit much, and I don't know how to incorporate that. <laughs> Also, we can really quick uh, fix his wing. Poor guy, it got clipped. Also, hi, Minty! How cool is it? We did it. <laughs> um, you good? I'm doing good. Want to consider horns here? Uh huh. Maybe. Hold on. <laughs> I 
You look so dorky from head on. I'm gonna try and draw one head on though. Honestly, I've always liked toucans, but this just makes me like them even more because, like, <laughs> look at them. They're such weird birds. Head. I was thinking instead of having like, um, you know, bird. Maybe to incorporate the stuff we got as well. Ears. Very surprised. <laughs> um, and then we have white belly, and also, what if we make face fluff? I don't know if this is a mistake or not. <laughs> Is this a mistake, maybe? Maybe. Hmm. For reference. Ah, horns. Make a bird in a maid outfit? <laughs> Mane but feathers? That's what I was trying to, like, go for, maybe? He's got, like, a really thick mane, though. It's just, I think maybe the face is too toucan-like, because I just made the head toucan. So maybe we try and combine horse and toucan. How do we do that? It's got the ears, right? So that's very horse-like. Maybe I'll do a horse face. And we'll draw a toucan on top. <laughs> Here's a low, it's a horse. I go like here. Wow, horse. A little wonky, but that's okay. Maybe literally all the differences we give him a forehead. Maybe that's the dick. <laughs> he kind of looks a little derpy, but that's okay. Okay, hold on. Move this over a little. Um. Shit. 
just got a feather mane. It's like big chunk of He looks kind of derpy. <laughs> look how derpy he looks. Okay, hold on. Let's try and run eye a little bit so I look less derpy. between Wolf Horse slash Bird Eye. the main. Maybe I just made the main too big. Hold on. <laughs> Does it work? That's the question. I mean, that's kind of what I was trying to go for with this. Maybe it's... Hmm. Maybe it was more like a lion's mane? Yeah. Let me look at a griffin real quick. Let me look at some griffin. <laughs> yeah. Griffins tend to be very, like, fluffy layers around here. They also have the ears. He's got a little bit of a... In the surf and stuff. There's a bit that comes out here. Hold on. Your race! It's not already play. Hold on. It's on shuffle. I don't know. That's like. Weird... He's got like. Love that comes out. We have a fluff layer here. Sort of looks weird, but. Eyes really small. That's okay. But now we. Try this. It's a little funky. I think do the head like normal.
He's got a sick ass mullet. Sort of. I honestly like ugh. character design. It can be hard sometimes because um I have the really bad habit of falling in love with the first design I do. And in art, you're technically not supposed to do that. You're supposed to try out different designs until you find like one that speaks to you. You're not supposed to go with the first thing. Because, you know, you can always come up with like something better. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Trying to not just go with what I already came up with. Down a little. Got he the other way around for body and horse head. <laughs> He's got a griffin body. in like layers so what was the shape of it was up not that far but maybe we curl this up go down Kind of works. Also, I've been practicing more uh, digitally painting recently. That's something I'm trying to get better at. It still ends up like very sketchy, but that seems to be just a part of my style, you know? Well, plus this is a sketch. Like, I'm not gonna refine this or anything. I'm just trying to get ideas down. Uh, then we get blue. Wait, blue goes on bottom, right? Oh, I did these opposite. Oh well, that's okay. This guy's just a different guy. That's okay. I want to make the yellow brighter anyway, I think. Yellow. Uh, probably thinner, more tenderly feathered. That's what I was sort of thinking.
Does this work is the question. Maybe they fade up into this? He, I don't know. He's kind of cute. Very colorful. Alright. Uh, that's more there's Yeah, I think so. You know, if you have like a boy, right? Or a friend, do this. Yep. Peak eye. The thing. Got ears. Hold on. It's got them like laying down, so imagine. Where do they go? Yeah, 
so imagine he's like spooked. Just <laughs> you can just stick these all up. <laughs> He's so shook. Look at him. Valid, you should draw. It's fun. Yeah, so when he gets spooked, he just goes, Whoa. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or that. You know, he's, he's trying to get a girlfriend, just like, mm, look at my feathers. L look how pretty I am. I think that's pretty funny. So you know normally he's got like layers and then he can go like a uh what do you call them? Oh my god, brain fart moment. The oh, I can draw what it looks like. Uh these birds. Peacock? Peacock. Like a peacock. He can take this, but let's pull it up. And then he can also pull this up. Be like, ah. You can give me a girlfriend. I think that's funny. I think that's good. Um. So I definitely, like, I think this had better. But the question then becomes, what do we do as a pose? I really like this brush, <laughs> if you can't tell. I, I made a couple new brushes. I, I like the texture. Nature typically the boys have prettiest fit. Oh, right? That's true. Oh yeah, and I wanted to give him the little... The little blush under the eye. Because I think that looks cool. And because I think they typically- let me pull up my toucan references again. Yeah, they typically have like a color around their eye. They usually have like orange, reddish, or green, I think is all I see. Yeah, so usually out of those three colors. So we're sort of mimicking that. Look at them. They're just a friend. Would they be friendly? That is a question. Alright, that works. Actually matches the color Fruit Loop that they've been designed to make. <laughs> Amazing. Wow, I never knew. That makes so much more sense now. Of course. This guy makes orange Fruit Loops. Delicious. Did you know Fruit Loops? All of them are actually the same flavor. Or so I've been told. I somewhat deny it. But I think it's because our brains assign different colors, different flavors, so you just taste that flavor and eat that one. I don't know. Oh, hi, Lily! Aw, thank you! We're just kind of chilling. 
we're we're trying to design a toucan griffin friend. He's looking pretty pretty. You can always blind taste it. True. I think. Um, I think game theory or food theory did something on that. Then. Oh. Okay. I think we got a good design down. So we started with this. But this to me is just straight up, like, this is just a toucan, right? With, like, some cool feathers thrown on. Then we got to this. Which I think is a cool body design. Um, but I started like this, but again, face is just, like, way too toucan -y. I thought about giving him more of a mane. <laughs> but he looks derpy. So then I got to this. Which I actually kind of really like. Um, because literally all we did to make him look less toucan is we gave him a forehead. That's kind of what I did here. <laughs> um, the other thing too, I think actually his beak needs to be longer. Hold up. It's always tough to make things bigger when it's diagonal. There we go. bigger is that better yeah 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 don't redo and we just blend it back in a little maybe he's got fluffy cheeks well, i don't know He's very fluffy now. I'm kind of a fan. Okay, I should really stop refining this. <laughs> Aw, you guys are always so nice to each other. That's good. I've seen, like, chats where people, like, fight and stuff. Or be rude. Hello? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I really like this version. <laughs> Thanks for whispering, kind people. Aww. Yeah. Give me the order I can start fighting with myself. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> okay. Got a cool, somewhat finalized version. I'm gonna move these down. Let's make a folder for those. Up. And. Now we start our sketch and maybe a final thing. We'll see. <laughs> it's gonna be somewhat difficult because so far all I've done is drawn this guy like sideways. Also, I need to move my mic. It might sound a bit. Like it's still hitting the same. Um, maybe I can turn my gain up a bit. Is that better? I don't know. Um, <laughs> right, that's all we can ask. Aww. Hey. Alright, if anything, start with my favorite thing. Shapes. <laughs> Wait, what? 
cakes are so hold on no 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 okay we'll start okay i d <laughs> you can't see but um i don't draw much traditionally these days but even though like you see this circle right that's my eraser tool and i flip my pencil around because it has an eraser thing on it which somehow i just made there we go um so like i flip my pencil around physically to erase but it's it's a digital pencil and so every time i erase i literally i swipe my hand across the screen as if to brush away the eraser shavings and that's so funny it's no eraser shavings digital i haven't drawn traditional in a while at least a few months so that's just a little fun fact I do. <laughs> yeah. I automatically go to sweep with my hand. There's nothing there. Muscle memory is weird like that, honestly. Ow. Hold on. Who can open? Okay, yeah. So the top doesn't really move, but they like open the bottom. They're so cute! Oh, what is this guy? It says close-up of toucan- that's not a toucan. What are you? What? Google what this guy is. Can you Google by image? Oh, I'm in Firefox. I want to know what this bird is. Hold on, I'll show you. It's an image. It says this is a toucan. I disagree. That's not a toucan. What is this? Who is he? I've done that with Ditch's Coffee and blow the clear debris away, right? Ah, uh, dude, I love sculpting so much. Uh, I'm not good at 3D sculpt, like digitally, um, but I love working with clay and thing. Looks like a bird. Thank you, too. What kind of bird? Looks really cool. I don't know what he is. Keep him in this drawing. He's just an invisible layer. He'll be there. One day I'll look back at this and be like, oh yeah. <laughs> it looks like a bird. <laughs> Thanks, guys. V very helpful. Yeah, so other weird thing with toucans that I found is if you look at their heads, right? And you measure their head and you look at their beak, their beak is typically two to three of their heads long. Their beaks are so big. How do they do that? Why? Well, I know why. Apparently they help regulate heat and stuff. Roll the nat 20 on nature, it's a burp. <laughs> Thank you, Cosmo. I appreciate your nat 20, it was very insightful. That's actually the really funny thing. Uh, oh, I hope you have a good night. Or good evening, Colin. See you. Thanks for stopping in. Um, what was I? Oh yeah. Um, I haven't listened to the new season of World 20 yet, and I haven't finished the last season, um, but that was always kind of funny to me. It's only happened a very few times, but I think somebody rolled like a nat 20 or something, or like over a 20, um, and <laughs> they just got no information on it anyway. That's what you know that's like a really important location when the DM gives you no information about it. Critical roll, thank you, yes. Not roll 20, that's a different thing, right? Dimension 20. I haven't seen Dimension 20 yet, I just know of it. Looks good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, critical roll. I, I get smooth brain sometimes, it, it's like a curse, you know? I, I tell ya. <laughs> yeah critical roll is really good i got i think up to like 
episode 70s ish uh on the second season and i really want to see the third season but i just i haven't started it yet because i'm like shouldn't i finish the second one first but then it's like there's so many episodes just like i feel intimidated Like it better than Kirk World? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen some clips of Dimension 20 and it looks really funny. Well, Critical Role is also really funny, but it, it also looks really good. Beak. Bit of a forehead. Let's all those down. So we got a little slope. We got I looks kind of. It looks kind of fun, I like this. I'm gonna love when you start sketching and it just looks like one. I make him look sideways. How do I do that? Ugh. Perspectives. They murder me. Turn his head. I do. So strange. I'm gonna try again. Uh, just lost one sixty times speed's problem solved. True. Wait, how what would look like? Got open beak. That's that's cool. Right? Yeah, I think also curving the beak helps. Or two. Got a tongue. Raw. The sixty times speed. <laughs> oh, hydrate posture check. The lurk. Let's go. Thank you for lurking. giving him
good enough. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it later. Probably. Well, I have to, but you know. Later. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Lily. Yeah, yeah, no, literally, go to sleep. Sleep is good for you. Ah, that boy is not here, but when he comes to my room, I'll give him. Sure, that's a cool. You're straight, though. Let's do to make it. Maybe he's flying away from something? like a person. It's okay, we'll fix this. Um had to be I guess I wanted slow. Before. Yeah, I want it like pull this shoulder up. I think the thing is he's too up. Tilt him back. Okay, Cosmo. See you. <laughs> yeah. I made the sleepy emote because I was like, that's that's me. That's why I made a moat. the treat container his head is maybe his head is too porcelain he looks so wonky like this it's okay friend we'll fix you eventually So there's like something that's spooked him. Ah, uh, Yoshi's street room. This pogger. Uh oh, did it break? Nope, oh, that's not it either. Forgot what button on my tablet. I even hit it earlier. Hello. 
What do you What do you mean? Oh. Big girl. We'll go back like yeah, like that. Yeah, sure. Sorry, we just made. I think his head might be a bit better. Bellies. Yeah, I think that is definitely part of the problem. I think like his whole upper body. the head up a bit. The longer than Very surprised by uh, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, that boy, that was like the softest meow. He looks very surprised. Shortening with the tail? Maybe it is. I'm picking up my voice.
нравится. Да? This has a <laughs> it's not feeling it. He looked surprised at me. Sort of funny. color it in. That help any. Gabsy? Oh. 
How cool is it? I don't really like this sketch, but I'm seeing if I color it, if that helps at all. I don't think I will, but I'm trying it anyway. in it still. He's a cool, cool dude, but I don't like this. And his mane a little bit. I don't know why I'm still refining it when I don't like it. <laughs> Hi, Tyron. How's it going? I am trying to draw a toucan uh, grip. Pretty cool. Why am I still refining? I like the sketch. Just hoping, I guess, if I keep refining, it'll look better, but. Ugh. Eh. He exists. See, the issue is, I really like this sketch of him. But, like, drawing full body's hard. <laughs> oh. Let's look at the sketch versus the first.
So originally we had this. And now we have this. Yeah, I like this sketch a lot though. He, lo he looks better. Um... I think for now I'm just gonna save. And I think that's enough art for today. But I'm not gonna stop streaming- oh. Don't make me knock things off my desk. Uh, I think I'm gonna play some Skyrim. What did I- Oh, I did spill something- oh, hold on. Bruh. Spill over here. Why is it still- what is this? It looks like liquid, but okay, that's weird. I'll deal with that later. Um, <laughs> professional streamer over here. <laughs> oh wait yeah stream is in my name that's good that way people on discord know that i am i uh, don't have my game up or it's like game down like a fool i did i turned it down instead of up earlier that's fine you, you love to see it okay we switched to new scene Skyrim, for whatever reason, takes a minute to show up. Oh, I saw it. Yep. And we continue. Oh, wait. Before I hit yes. I gotta change my stream. Uh... I can spell. I really... No longer art. Let's pick that off. Dang, the music is very epic. Okay, there we go. It always likes to break. There we go. Whenever I click back into it. So what I have to do is I have to click back into it twice. Kind of weird. Also, it's cold. Alright, that's right. We're last here. Um... Where is this at? Revolt. That's up on the map, right? Yeah. All the way over here. Brad, is there something near- can I teleport to there? Wait, can I? <gasps> I can! Can I take my horse with me? Or is it just gonna fast travel me over? Yeah, let's go, Ally. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. We're prepared, hopefully. Uh, how do I get down from here? Oh, there's a skeleton boy down there. Oh! Wait, I went into here, but I never went down there. That looks interesting, though. Looks like there's loot. Ah, uh, nah. I don't feel like doing that now. Let's go do a quest. Go beat up some silver hands. Somebody lost their cart of cabbages. I bet it was Cabbage Man. The avatar strikes again. Oh, 
this way? Can you do this? Yep. No problem for Allie. She's so cool. Currently trying to draw, but I have no motivation. Oh. Well, I mean, just draw things you like, you know? Like, draw some of your characters, if you have any. Uh, draw creatures you like to- Ah, skip right now! Uh, <laughs> just draw things you enjoy. Or, you know, just experiment. Uh, sometimes art block can be your art styles changing and that sort of thing. Will you attack me? Hello? I get off, will you talk to me? No, hello. Hello there, fellow traveler. One itinerant minstrel and wandering wasteful oh. at your service. Ah, well, after a Speech little crap? incident with a roguish lad and uh, the daughter of a prominent thane, well, let's see. Afraid not. But if you're serious mm. about sharpening that tongue, you might try the Bard's College in some. Is Speechcraft? Right, Doesn't that make uh, things cost less and sell for more? Because, like, I need better speech so bad. Like, I have uh, TR things they are supposed to sell for, like, a thousand or something, and they only sell for, like, a hundred or something, maybe, if that. It's ridiculous. Everything costs too much. I actually, I am. Why do you glow? Are you ghost skeletons? What the heck is that? No. We're leaving. Goodbye. Uh, that. Mm, that does not look good. Attack me! Don't attack Ali. I can respawn, she can't. Where are you? Yeah. No, don't. Don't do that. What did I tell you? There we go. Didn't listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope you find motivation too. What? <gasps> oh. Okay. Uh, that's okay. So I'm not gonna fight you. We're gonna run away. Uh, how do we cross here? Can you go in the water? You can! Everything's good. That's a cute little spring. Is that a bird? What is that? Hold on. Oh, right. Uh, what do I drop? Uh... Oh, I ate it. Oops. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't mean to eat it. I meant to drop it. Uh... <laughs> ah, it's still over. Okay. Um, can I drop... Uh... But you know what? If I'm going out to do a quest and I'm already, like, full of items, I should go... I forgot to go sell stuff again. Um... Don't want to use any of my potions. They're very useful. We're just I wanna see what this is though. Can I get to this? While well, barely walking. Will I drown? I don't understand what it is a bird. Wait, no, it's a person. His beard looked like a bird. Why are you here? I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Ooh. Why is he just here? I don't understand. Oh, 
okay. Uh, thanks for your robes, I guess. Oh, we're so close. We're almost there. That's fine. We're- we're- we- You can't fast travel over covered? Bruh. Okay, fine. What are we throwing out? Anything doubled I can throw? No. Ingredients, books... You can throw out two pounds. It'd be easy. I have too many things. Let throw this out. Am I still over encumbered? Hold on. Uh, we can- can I eat hawk feathers? Oh great! They, they cure disease. That's good. Store stamina, that damages me. Great. You'll love to see it. Resist fire. Okay. Hmm. Can I fast travel now? Yes. Alright. First we go here. We've got small weapon. Take a look. We have all these that we should probably sell. Honestly, I'm not... How much are these worth? One? We'll sell them. I don't know what I need them for. If I need stuff later the on, you know, like, we'll figure it out then. But for right now, I don't have a lot of use for certain things like these. Oh yeah, we got this sick shield I forgot about. Oh, it only weighs four? Hell yeah, we're gonna sell our old bandage shield then. Um... What do I sell? I like my Skyforge Steel War Axe though. Does pretty good damage. What do you sell? Bow with embers. Burns the target for five points. Targets on fire. Ah, that's a nice bow. Hmm. Wait. So orchestra hammer is two fifty two. But for me, it's 64. You know what? If we can buy these back, though, I'll sell those then. I was just keeping them because they looked cool, honestly. Um, I obviously don't want to sell any of my enchanted stuff. Those are good. All right, I think we're good here. Good doing business with you. Thank you. And then we'll go over to Bellathor. Sell some stuff to him, and then we'll head out. And we should be fine to go beat people up and rob them of their things. That sounds worse than it is. Well, mm, we're kind of going to kill a bunch. I'm sure you'll find Everything's for sale. But they're bad. Trinkets, they want to kill us. Odds and ends, so, you know. Sort of thing. It's worth it. And um, books. Let's sell... I don't really need those, honestly. Um... Yes, we saw that. A spell tone. We want to keep those. I just want to keep that because it seems interesting. A scabbard of a crash. Oh, that's worth a decent bit. Uh, those we'll keep. Miscellaneous. Uh, I like my troll skull though. Worth to keep. <laughs> when I get a house, I want to put it in my house if that's possible. Carol, yeah, we just got these. Magic power generates 30% faster. It's weight one. Is it pretty similar to these? Wait, where is it? Did I already sell it? Oh, there it is. Restoration spells cast 12% less to cast. Magic power generates 30% faster. 
very technically have them. I don't really wear them though. Eh, I don't weigh much, but I think I'm gonna sell that. I have these cool black ones now. Um. Hmm. Or we can sell these, I guess. Yeah. That it. Oh, gold ring, sure. Okay, uh, what is my inventory like now? Yep, 60 stock. Eh, uh, is that good? Hmm. I don't know what else really to sell. Yeah, I already did all my skills and stuff. Cool. Um. Oh, he has a troll skull. I'm out. Off we go. Oh, wait, duh. We can go... You know what? I should have gone a little bit more and unlocked the area so I could just fast travel back. <laughs> I'm dumb. You know what? It's fine. Everything's fine. Let's go, Ali. We're smart. Probably. Let's try going down this way, because I think it'll be a bit flatter than trying to ride directly up on the hill. Green Spring Hollow? Okay. Oh, I see. Uh, nope. I guess that's where that cat came from before. Ugh. My horse is better than you. Uh, hello? Dragon, this is not the time! It's really not the time to have a dragon attack. Alright, Ali, stay here. Is it still spawned in? It is. Fantastic. We have our fists. Great. Hey, friend. I'm here to fight you. Oh, he's attacking the cat! Nice. Um, we're gonna use... A cool axe. No. Right hand. And then magic. Left hand. Yeah. Take fire. You also have fire. Yeah. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here still? No! No! <sighs> I wanted to kill the dragon! Stupid saber cat. Ugh. That's the second time I've died to a dragon. Oh. Wait. Hello? Did I accidentally spawn in and kill this rabbit? Oh, poor guy. He's just stuck in the ground. Aww. Oops. Okay, we're gonna try and go a bit around that stupid cat. Don't come near me. Over there. 
Wide berth. Oh, there's mammoths as well. We're definitely gonna wide berth them too. Don't come near me. Dear friends, no need to fight. The world is scary. Oh, chat! It's a wolf! I know I cannot run them though. I've done it before. I saw another dragon. Why? Why? Oh my god, please. Ellie, stay here. I got it this time, I hope. Where are you? There you are. There's a second dragon. <laughs> There's two dragons. <laughs> okay. Uh, weapons. Wait. Right hand. Yes. Magic and left hand. Or actually, maybe we should use a shield. Where is my shield? I can't read. Is it in apparel? Yeah, it is. Yeah! That does so much! Don't get near my horse. I'm not good with arrows, that's why I'm not shooting him. Uh, we're gonna do this. There's two of them! Why? <laughs> Come back! Come over here! Why can't I run? Oh, because I'm crouched. He's fighting a cat! That's good, that's good. The cat will also fight us, though. Dragon, come here! Dragon! Let me fight you! Oh my god. Please don't do that. I hit you. It doesn't do much of anything. Oh my god. This sucks. How do you kill it? Why are you here? Why are there two of you? Cursed. Okay, he's just shooting fire on. That's fine. We heard him a little bit. He heard us a lot though. Yeah, shit. His shield isn't really worth it because he just lights me on fire. Ah. <laughs> okay, we can we can kill him. It's just gonna take a hot minute, and it's very scary. Oh, he's already back down. Okay. Wait, did he say it? Word. No, but damn it. I saw my health too, and I was like, it's fine. I can wait until he takes off again. I couldn't. This game sucks. I say as I continue to play. I'm gonna chug some water real quick. Poor rabbit's still there. Okay, are we gonna get a dragon spawn us again? Perchance. Can can I just go to this outpost, whatever? Please. Alright, whatever. Come here. 
Good job, Allie. There's a wolf? What the hell? No. There's a dragon! <laughs> There's no winning! There's no win in here. Allie, run for cover. Good girl. Where did he land? Oh shit, okay. Uh, we're just out of his fire range. Uh, let's try and shoot him. You know, why not that? Is that the only one I got? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's a bow. How much do arrows do? They do a little bit. There's still that second dragon over there. I see him. Ouch. Ah! Where did he go? I hear him. Where are you? There he is. It's pretty far. Oh, he's fighting wolves, I think. I have no idea if I'm hitting him. I don't think I am. I'll wait for him to get closer. <laughs> you know, we're also really close to those mammoths and stuff. Could you just like fight them? Yeah, there you go. That's cool. Fight some giants. Maybe they'll take your health down. Let's go? The giants are helping? Did I accidentally shoot a mammoth, though? I think I shot a mammoth. Nope, they still seem to be aggro on him, though. Yay! I'm killing the dragon. By totally legitimate means. I think that was too high. Is he dead? Oh, now you're coming towards me. Uh-oh. How do I get his dead body without dying? They're actually faster than I thought they would be. Okay, we, we run in. We grab the body. We don't grab the body. We don't grab the body. What was that? Oh, shit. These guys will definitely kill me. Okay, we're getting them away from the body. So we can get the dragon. Get some stamina back. Okay, I think he's getting really close. He is getting really close. But I have no stamina left! Ah. Uh, run away! Run away! Run very fast away! <laughs> e! <gasps> got money! Let's go. Okay. There's a very scary angry mammoth after me as well. Do I get it? Even though I'm over here? I do. Okay. Where's the giant? He's there. Uh, Ali should be back over here and then we run away. We did it! I hear wolves. Well. No? Where's Allie? Allie! Good girl! You came and hidden here! That is good. Smart of you. Ooh, we can open this. Eh, uh, close. There we go. Ah! Very close. Ah, uh, what? Uh... It's like there is like almost it. What? This is an apprentice log. This should be easy. There we go. Very precise. That's worth it. Money, stamina back. You read a book. Ah, uh, orchid bow. We'll take it. 
Uh, we get some more ingredients. We search Hunter, who I'm guessing died to the saber cat. Uh, these are deer pelts? Sure, okay. Ah, uh, we don't need all those, really. I think we'll get more worth out of going and killing the guys and getting that stuff. Yay, we totally legitimately killed another dragon. Is that other one still there? Oh, yes he is. Try and go kill that one, but I don't feel very confident about that, so uh... We're just gonna keep going to our destination. Also, I'm gonna save, because that was very poggers. The, uh, the giant and the mammoths helped me. I think it was mostly a giant, because he did, like, a huge chunk of the guy's health. I, I had a giant hit me once before and it one-shot me, so... Dragons have a lot of health. And they're scary. Hello! Just run away. All good. Riding through. I don't know. Usually when you see deer in the wild, they'll run away and stuff. I guess if you spook an elk or something, I'd probably run away too. Yeah, I guess those have to be elk, because most would be way bigger. It's another giant more mammoths. I have to go this way. We're just gonna loop around. That's fine. Oh, whoa, they got like a whole camp up here. Huh. Okay. Good to know. Can I mark this on my map? I get a little closer? Yup. Uh, we are not strong enough to do that yet, though, so we are just gonna continue on our way. Okay, good. I was worried this was more of, like, a cliff. It's just a steep side. We should be getting pretty close. I don't see it yet, though. Unless it's, like, underground? Would be like a cave or something. I don't think so. Ooh. Is it a cave? Who? What? Where? Why? Oh! Oh my god. I thought it was like another dragon or something, but no, it's just another stupid saber cat. I don't have my weapons out. Okay, hold on. Long. Die. <gasps> Are you okay? Uh? You okay? Okay. Don't worry. I won't let anything kill you. That is my biggest goal. For Allie not to die. And I don't think we can cross this here. Can try. Oh, nope, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Sure. Let's try to down here. Hello. What do you have? Money? Good. Oh, another unlock. There we go. Nice. Allie, don't glitch up out on me. Ah! Dog. Ah, boy.
legit cold now. Like, 40 degrees. You love to see it. Alright. Got my headset plug back in. Now we have to figure out a way over this. I mean... I guess it must be a cave. Maybe we can go up and around? What if we go back this way? Yeah, we can get over here. Hello. Goodbye. Problem solving. It is a cave. Okay. Interesting. I was right. I thought it might be a place. Am I still crouching somehow? No. Oh, I am full. But it's because I picked up that sword accidentally. Yeah. That. Uh, what is- oh, it's a body behind it. Oh, hello. You're going to attack me. I prefer if you wouldn't. I'm gonna see if there's things to get here. I don't think so. Alright, good luck, Allie. Be safe. Does he not work? Okay. There we go. Gee, what was that? Grrr. You'd say it's like slaughter you and- Grrr. I'm stuck. Yeah. <laughs> what beast? You? Where's the guy who launched magic? There you are. You will also be a lot easier to rob when you're dead. Ooh, where are you? Hello. Grr. <laughs> Being a werewolf is so sick. No! I thought he was dead. I was gonna do one more hit, but the sword does a lot of damage. Okay, we gotta activate our magic again. And uh do better as a werewolf. I Arr. What was that? I think that guy near the entrance was still alive, maybe? Yeah, that's fine. We need to get this guy down first, because he does a lot. Ah, oh, for real? Damn, okay. What do you say about putting on clothes? All right, whatever. Why does he keep burning, man? Boop, money. Hey, I'm just here to say hi. Steal your stuff. I'd appreciate if you'd stop casting lightning on me. I'll actually take that and eat that. Good pop. Yeah. Ooh, he still does a lot. What the hell kind of sword do you have? Jesus. Huh? 
So I can kill everyone else in like two hits, but that one guy is just... Okay, take his money. We go up here. Kill you. We take your money. And your amethyst. And your potion. We kill you. Great. Take your fish. You vampire dust. Run away from this man. Sure, got all that. Actually, we'll take the salt. Good for stuff and things. You run away from this man. Oh, he's a leader. That's why he's so strong. I figured it was something like that, but like, for real, what sword does he have? Ah, fire! <laughs> New save. Oh, I should have my shield. Where's my shield? Uh, potions. We're really gonna need some more of these things. I want to kill this man. Can we? I have an idea. We're gonna run away. That is my idea. Never mind. We're gonna get stuck. Cause I couldn't move. What? No. I'm dead. Again. We're gonna try this. Need something? <laughs> Stabs me, kills me one hit. Need something. Why can't I run? I'm not crouching, am I? No. Why can't I run? Can he not hit me if I'm running? I don't understand. How do I kill this man? And why can't I run? My control swap again somehow. No, sprint to shift. Okay, we run, we run, we can't run. Why is it breaking? Oh, it's because I keep hitting caps lock accidentally. I think there was a potion here I saw. Or bunny. Okay, that's good too. Yeah. Hmm. We lived longer that time. <laughs> How much health does this guy have though? Not quest, uh, magic. Can I shout at him? Can I use my fire breath now? I boost! You down. boost. Yeah. Can I shout at him again? Yeah. No! Okay, we did more damage all the time. Maybe Shaolin's a good idea. We're using magic. Shout. Unrelenting force. Yeah. Form. 
Hmm. Do healing, but I don't think that'll do enough to heal us. Let's do flames. And... Skyforge. Hopefully fire will help us enough with this. Oh, nope. I couldn't run. Again. I think my thing is... Uh, I keep hitting caps lock, I think is why. Hold on, let's see if I can run. I can't run. I can run now. Okay. Okay. We got this. 100%. <laughs> Need something? I mean, I got what I needed, but like, oh my god. I want to kill this guy. No, can I try going into beast form and killing him? We can try. Right? He won't kill me as I'm transformed though, right? He will. <laughs> great, 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 great. So I can be killed while I'm transforming. What do I do in this situation? I mean, I can just run away, but like... I don't want to run away. I want to murder. I'm gonna run into here. Hours East Form Z. I think this should give us enough time to transform. We need to run past him though and eat his friends real quick so that we can get enough health to kill him. No, okay. Maybe we just come back a later time. I don't know what he that sword is he has. But it does so much damage. believe in I guess that's that sucks what it what hit me crab the crab's still here what what hit me okay um I guess we go to the dragon's reach. Cool. Watch out. I did it. I died a lot of times because I can't kill the stupid guy there. But I did it. I've been running interference for you around. Have cool. you been bringing them back? I got Another it. Another piece of glory. Good work, shield brother. Oh, I got a hundred gold. I was and hoping it would be more. Work to be done, but I fear that Codlac's gotten wind of our recent efforts. He... My advice, always be honest with the old man, but don't okay. tell him anything he doesn't need to know. Where's Codlac? He downstairs. Yeah, he's downstairs. All right. Codlac. Oh, also, which room down here is ours? Isn't it, like, here or something? I think? Eh. I just wish there was a spot where I could, like, store things. Like, I always seem to have so much on my person. I hope the hunting goes well, brother. We've got Thanks, man. Thank Hello. You. Yes, young. Yeah. Have a seat. I will sit. I hear you've been busy of late. Lad, I know what you've been up to. Mind you, it's no business of mine what each companion does in the name of honor. Mm -hmm. But this sneaking around, it does not befit warriors of your standing. Ayala knows better, and so should Ayala. In any case, hey, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? No.
Aye, that sounds like it. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. Mm-hmm. The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. Ah. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glen Morrow Coven. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hircine, we would be granted great power. I see. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment like anyone else. But we had been deceived. The witches didn't lie, of course. Oops. But it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. Uh, it seeps into the spirit. Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hircine for his hunting grounds. Mm -hmm. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. That is their choice, but I am still a true Nord, and I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. I see. That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. Hmm. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the ah. seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries mm. of impurity. You shall have no shield brother this time. For the you give me no of shield brother? Goes with you to restore the honor of All right. Chance. Talos guide you, lad. Thanks. Is there just a danger heart here? Why is it so expensive? Sick. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Um, but I'm doing pretty good. How... How are you doing, Weed? Who am I being detected by? Weird. It's free gold. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> Do I have to go talk to Ayla? Is that what I'm doing on here? Or like, where am I going? Where am I going? I think it just wants me to leave uh, White Run. The Marissa made me go up a bit. I don't know. Uh, I still need to talk to Greybeards. I'll need to find that lady, which I think she's out this way. Although they said she would be in the city, maybe? I don't know. Confusing. Oh, yeah. I think I do want to go talk to the Bard's College. Where's that at? Oh my god, it's so far. Can I go to Solitude with the cart? Actually, let's just teleport down because hey <laughs> hey! I can fast travel! I figured it out! Hi, Ali. Hello, cart. You go to solitude. Where do you want to go? 
Well to 20 gold. We'll Let's go. First time to solitude? Yeah. The beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim. It's I'm the sure capital. Okay. So this will probably be a big city then. Hmm. Did Ali not come with me? I bet she's in the stable somewhere. Atlas Farm. Hey! Ali! Aw, oh, they have pretty horses here. Hello. None of them are as pretty as you, though, Ali. Hey, well, gonna go to bed soon, though? Ah, college rip. Right. Oh! Cool. That's pretty. I don't know who Rogvir is, but all right. And I don't really know what the Legion is, but all right. I have to get off to go inside, don't I? Bruh, making me leave my horse outside. Oh, okay. You can't hurt Uncle Rogvir. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Far you need to go home. Oh shit. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. What did he Traitor. do? Get on with it! You betrayed us! You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Ethar. They're all hearts with him. What did he do? Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape oh. the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate Stand back. Ulfric, you Interrupting an execution is a serious crime. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric None. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such mm. is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Ooh. I mean, that sounds fair. He beat him in combat. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Ah, uh, bro. Okay. Some Not right now. You are. Mm -mm. I still can't believe he knew what he was doing when he opened that gate. A traitor right up to the end. That's definitely going in my part of the Edda. The Edda? Oh, I guess it's all over. I expected. Rogvir. Oh, why did it I have expected. to be like this? Right out. Okay. We should have drawn it out some more. He deserved a slower death. Hmm. A man opens a gate and they cut his head off? Doesn't seem right to me. Yeah, right? I'm with that guy. Oh, okay, they just went in there. Where's that? Thinking Skaver. Tavern? That's walrus. Um. By blade or by spell, if you want it dead, mm. I'll make it dead. We've All you need to do is pay my fee. I fight with both blade done. and spell. Mm. If you change your mind, see, okay, so I can hire him. Mind, seek me out here. What we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Down with Mulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. 
That's what. Okay. There's more. Bit of a grim line. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. Eh, we'll take it. I need those. Can you, like, turn around or go somewhere else or... Amazing. Hello. You look cool. I have no business with you. Leave me. Okay. Never mind. Do you happen to have a potion Go of away. healing near you, though? I have more important things on my mind right now. Don't mind me. I'm just messing up your food. It's cool. Hello. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. I got sad. I saw it's food. Food is good though. Hmm. Uh, I could just steal food. Uh, why is it called the Wink? For the thirsty. Oops. Food for the hungry. Nope. Why is it called the Winkings? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. That's not what I wanted, but fair enough. Well, as it turns out, I had a pet skeever when I was a boy, and he used to wink. Oh. Sounds like a reason I don't This is an oath Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. Uh, alright. Good. Thanks, Ben. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. For the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Gaston's up here. Oh. Down with the brick, the Left one. Of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. Oh, it's this one. Okay. If you need a good rumor or two, I think I can oblige. Mm. If you need anything, you just say the word. That's a nice room. There's any traitors, civil wars, dragons. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say that dark elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. I've not seen it. People say there's a man wandering the streets near the Blue Palace. He seems distressed, but he's not making any sense. Hmm. Near yeah, the Bard's College. I've heard Jari Raz hanging around the Wells District, looking for new blood to hire. Cool. That could be good for money. Varnius Junius stopped by here on his way to Corn. He was worried about something. I'm sure Falk Firebeard could tell you what. Falk Firebeard. And this guy can give you a lot of quests. Take a look. Oh, not what I wanted, but all right, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Don't even shut the door. Like as soon as he's out of the room, you're like hit and steal. Shut the door. Hey, um, yes, you can have that. How? Who sees me? Who saw me? All those? <coughs> Excuse me. Don't really need apples. Ah, eh, we can steal some food. See? That's what I meant. If I need food, you just yoink it. Alright, we'll drop the plate though. I don't need that. Selenius Potter. Uh, good enough. I think I can run. Any? Any. I'll drop the boots. 
Carol. And it's By order of the odd. Stop right there. Sure. Smart man. Now, come along with us. No. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. You saw me steal somehow lavender? Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Hello, where's the king? Do I talk to them? I don't know. Look like you might. I hear Radiant Raymond has a large selection. Nice. I prefer to not die though. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not yeah. what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Rifton, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it Why am I let in here? The man's going to try to take White Run. refuses. Why am I allowed in here? On the other hand, he also it's like the castle. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Then over. Good night. Sleep well, Weed. Sleep is good for you. It's a pretty cool castle. I guess I have to wait until morning, though. Should go back to the inn and sleep. Paid for the room anyway. Hello. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on White Run. An attack on White Run? to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Okay. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take White Run. Hmm. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord. To accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for White Run, then we need to be there to stop it. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's mm. plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Who are you? <laughs> now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle apparently Do you have some reason to be here citizen have you already met right Helgen one of the prisoners if I recall correctly I don't want to say that you're dismissed goodbye That was weirdly broken, but that's fine. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked White Run. Yeah. How could mere men bring down such a beast? I'm so poggers, I've killed three of them. Can you believe it? They just keep attacking me, it's so crazy. Could you turn around? You're not gonna turn around. That's it. Goodbye. Now, where was the Winkins Gaver? It's near the entrance, right? So down this way? The bigger city. Herbs. Where are we? Blue Palace? Okay. How do I get to the entrance of this place? How do I get back to the Winked Skaver? What are you? 
characters out. Got lots of things to take care of. What do you need? Our actions. Oh, wait. Did I, I think I passed near here before. Yeah, so up this way? Hey, I think we're almost back. You need help? You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? Which have mine. It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground. Or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister DJ and I are treasure hunters. We like to mm. collect things. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, ah. loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and True. they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. It could, it's true. Why we put out the lighthouse? What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely you gonna be double cross me? loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. I'm afraid he's gonna double cross me, but I mean, like, why not go for it, right? Make it skiver! Alright, we're gonna rest until morning. Or actually, should we if we're gonna go put out a lighthouse? You guys are drinking in sync. Back. Um. It's out. Put out the fire in the solitude lighthouse. Let's go do that. Night time, so I guess that's a good time to do it. Where is it at? Yeah, it's definitely outside the city. We can probably take Allie. She might still be standing out here. Yeah. Good horse. Where is it? I'm confused. Oh, it's all the way out there. I am. All right. I see. Can I go around down here this way, maybe? I think I can. Sick. I thought I saw some ships down here. That's cool. Ah, oh, this is a nice bridge. This is cool. I like that. Hold on, I wanna see. Is that like a ki it is oh that's so sick to have like the bridge over and have like dock and stuff under that's cool all right let's go this is so pretty i like this place Oh, 
have really cool hills. Or I guess cliffs, mountains. You know. <laughs> Big things of dirt that look cool. Uh, oops. Nope, put that away. Um, I think if we just ride out here to the right... Would that be out over there? We go down here. I think that might be it. Well, he's a peasy. Is there going to be someone up here, though? There's usually at least, you know, three or three people in the lighthouse. There's no one here. Well, that was easy. Too easy. Can I ride back to town or should I just teleport? I feel like I should just teleport, but I really like just riding around on my horse, so I'm going to ride back. <laughs> Sue me. I think it's fun. Oh, you know what I used to play when I was a kid? I used to be really into um, Barbie horse adventures. I don't know which one I had. I guess, is it horse adventures and other ones have different names? I don't know. I was very into that, to just being able to, like, ride around and stuff and, like, do things. So maybe that's why I like this. <laughs> also, it's just cool to have a horse! Look, it's snowing! This is so nice! It's very grey, but that's okay. Plus, it's not a far journey. It's not like we're going, you know, from Riverwood to Right Run or something. So it does take a minute or two. I kind of want to take like some screen caps um, for me playing this game and maybe like draw some of them or something. Because I think some shots of this game would just be, like, very nice to use for reference. Please don't jump off the bridge. Hello, guard. Uh, Catalyst farm. Yes, we can do up here. funny that like immediately in it's like uh you know do you pick the rebellion or do you pick the king and i'm just like I don't know. so i just picked rebellion because like usually there's a reason to go against one the fact that they cut off a guy's head because he opened a door to let a guy in to kill their king kind of whack like i get it he technically betrayed by like letting it happen also, like, he's not the one who killed the king, you know? So it's like, eh. Oh, we're supposed to meet him on the docks, aren't we? I forgot about that. I was just like, oh yeah, we go back to where he was. Mm. Huh? Oh, Jesus, hello. Sorry. We gotta go back down this way. I forgot. Food brain, guys. Wait. Oh. Go a bit further. Really good with directions, I swear. I'm really not. I, I'm so bad with directions and stuff. I'm really good if I have like references and things so like I'll go like oh hey you know 
There's that lantern down there. House here, bridge. Use that as reference. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'll get like really confused. It's a problem. Hello! <laughs> Don't mind my horse. Hello. Looks like you had no trouble. The effects have already been felt. The ice runner has failed to dock on time. Mm -hmm. Without the lighthouse, the ice runner will have swung wide of the western shoal and run aground on the eastern coast. Okay. My sister Deja will be at the wreck with our black blood marauders. She knows to expect you. Cool. So she won't murder me immediately. Okay. Where is that at? All the way over there. How do we get across? How do I get over there? Can I go to Mersal and then run over there? Maybe? Uh oh. Cool! We can clip through the rocks. That works. Okay, let's go up and talk to the guy and maybe see if we can just teleport to Marthril. Marthril? And go around that way. I don't think I can get across this water area. River. Whatever. Need a ride? Where do yes, you I go? do. More. Oh, it's 50 we'll gold? Up. That's rough. Oh, there once was a hero named Rex. Right into right from all nice. Good singing. I clap. Why is it so expensive to come here, though? What are they doing down here? What's the y'all going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. Lighting's kind of funky. Ignorant of your concerns, she'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Ah. Oh. Orthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. Who's the wizard in town? Should probably help them. Is he going in his house? What is he doing? Are they broken? Are they stuck? Turns out horse can't go backwards. If I press the backwards button, it does the same as forward button. Well, that's not good. All right. I th I think they're just stuck there, so that's fine. Oh yeah, we just ride out this way. You are an interesting garb. All right. Can I go on the ice? <gasps> cool. All snowy this way. Also very foggy. It's over here. Hope this isn't deep. It's not super deep. Abandoned shack. Cool. What you got? Oh. There is blood. 
can't be picked needs a key. Their body around? Hmm. There's people over there. I don't... Hmm. I guess I'll figure this out later. But for now, I don't think I can go in there. It's like, if there's blood at the front, right? Like, would there be a body near here? Or, like, if they buried it? Or... Something? But I guess not. So, uh, they continue on to find the boat. Oh, it is that way. What is splashing? Is that a spider? Did it just drown? Huh. Alright. Cool. Really marshy. Gives me marsh vibes. But it's like also icy, kind of weird. But uh oh, Are those walruses. Oh, you do not want to tangle with walruses. <gasps> That's a spider. Run, Ali, run! Fox is cute. Ooh! These look like something, but I guess not. Wait, they are. Hold on. Ah, we'll fight the spider, I guess. Where is he? Or not. Hello, you look like things. You look like the things from before. Look at this one, it's got like almost a hand on it. Or is that just snow and my brain is dumb? Are you a thing? Hmm. Guess not. Oh, I thought it was like a tower or something. It's like an entrance. We'll stop by. At least get it on our map. What is this? Highgate Ruin. Is that a dead body? It is a dead body. Okay, so nobody guards the place anymore, I guess. Ah, these are droggers. Well, thanks for the money, I guess. Uh, we're not gonna deal with this now. We'll deal with that later. Boots down this way, apparently. Oh, there it is. Duh, rode past it. I honestly didn't really notice it. I just saw that tower thing and I was like, what's that? I ride here. You might have to stay here, Allie. Let's... Let's at least ride back across here, I think. Ah, no, you know what? You can go in the water. You're shallow enough. I thought it, for some reason it was deeper. Okay, you stay here. I think I'm gonna have to go fight some guys, so, you know. You're the one who put out the fire in the lighthouse, right? Yes. That was good work. Deja's in the hold of the ship. Go down two levels. Okay. Yes, yes, I haven't gone all day. I feel like I'm just gonna get a double yeah? uh, crossed. 
Did I already take the money off of him? Rude. Like that, though. Can I wear that? Apparel. Where is it? Yeah, let's go. Really feeling like this is like. I don't know. I've already been pretty well rated, though, to be fair. I'm not seeing anything good. Hello. Ooh, you have money. Yes. I don't know. Thought you were a dead guy. First glance, you know. Anything could be a dead body. Good morning. Good. Ah, uh, I guess this morning, sure. Nice thing is these guys don't care if I steal a bunch of stuff from here. Good morning. Hello. Oh, I guess this is the wrong hold. Uh, what do you want, cat? Nothing. Just is your face good? You got like lines on your cheek. Hey, there you are. My brother told me you were coming. Hello. I'm supposed to give you what you earned. I like your voice, but does that mean you're gonna kill me? Ah, I'm afraid the loot's already been moved. Yeah. You've been useful to the Black Bloods, though. I knew You've it. You've earned a quick death. All right. Okay. Uh, that's in right hand. Uh, we're good. Where is? It's an apparel. Just a, yeah, there it is. Can you stop hitting me? Like, for real? Are you gonna shoot me? You missed. Point blank, my guy. Ooh, we get to find out where they took the loot. I mean, I get the loot? I can kill these guys. Note from Jari. Cool. Ooh, pickpocket success. Nice. That's already been taken. Shield. I don't really need you. Ah, it's worth 40. It only weighs 4. I can take those. Free bunny. Nope. Oh, throat sliced. Someone else? Are you talking when you're dead? Oh, no, it's you. Hello. Is it easily blocked? Is it? Ooh, thank you. I really need more lockpicks, honestly. Take in the diamond. How many pages is this? Alright, cool, cool, cool. Where do I go? What was that? Another one in here. Where are you? Whoa, what was that? Gee, I wonder. Any more? No? Sick. Those guys are really easy to kill. Is there more out here? Hello? Ooh, there's a guy. Hello. Thank you. Where was the guy that was here? Oh, there you are. Make sure you're Salmon Guard? Well, it's gonna be Salmon Guard, my guy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait. Who cares? Well, rip the ship. Oop. 
These guys should know not to double cross me. For I am Scaro. And I have the coolest horse in the world. And we will we will defeat anyone in our way. To find out where they've gone though. Figure out where they've hidden the loot. That's rough. It's already been moved. Where would it be moved to? We couldn't have gotten far, right? Because put out the light, rode over here, you know. I almost want to say the Highgate Ruins. I don't think they would have gone there. Maybe a abandoned track? But I can't get in there yet. I need a key. Hmm. I almost want to look it up. <laughs> Because I don't know if I'm going to figure this one out. Hmm. I can ride around a little, I guess. Maybe further up this way? I don't think they'd go back towards the city with it, would they? Or would they... Take it back to their bar? Well, either way, I see a ship up here. Let's see if what's up with that. That's cool! You see that? You see, like, the little wisps when the wind blows the snow a little bit? Person. That detail's so great! Ace. Hello, Fox. You know what gets me, though? Like, we have such great games like this and Minecraft and, like, um, you know, just like the older Pokemon games and stuff, like, very much classics, right? And then we get things like Pokemon Sword and Shield that are just like garbage, and it's like... How did we make stuff like this? Which, to be fair, like, the graphics are very much dated and stuff. But look, you know, you've got really great shading and shadows. You've got the wind effect of the snow and things. I don't think I leave footprints. No, sadly no footy prints. Um... But like... Why don't we get stuff like this now? Why is it just remakes and games that are rushed and people who are, uh, who make it are underpaid and it's like a whole thing? I don't know. Makes me sad. Cause like, think what we could do with games these days with the graphics we have. Like, um... Uh... I can't think of the name. The zombie game with, uh, the guy. And he saves Ellie, the girl. Can't think of the name. <laughs> but that game, you know, like they made the second one, the graphics in that are like super cool. Um, but a lot of people had, uh, didn't super like the game. I didn't finish watching other people play it, so... I thought what I saw so far was kind of cool though, but... You know, I didn't see ending and stuff, so... Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it's just like, you know, graphics aren't everything. Don't get me wrong, obviously. But like, can we get some cool games like this now, please? Like, look how cool this game is. Ooh, okay. Or go hold. Games gotta make money, time is money. Yeah, but they just- they rush it so much, and they don't pay their people well, and it's like- it's such a whack, um... industry to work in, from like all the stories and stuff I've heard. And it's just like super sad. Nice. What's that worth? 
I will take that. Uh, anything else good in here? What kind of chest are you? Can I hop down into this? Is this a good idea? No, it's just a way out, I guess. Okay. Eh, it wasn't super worth it, I guess. But... I don't think I explored all of it. Let's go back. Hmm. Nice. I will take that. Don't need that. Okay, kind of worth it then. But yeah. Oh. Actually, I'll take that. There's a bed here. Can I sleep? Can I sleep in this awful old ship? That sounds great. But it? Oh, it's a book. Also, it's really weird that the ship is tilted and my camera's like, Whoa. Uh, wine? Sure. Also, IP reuse saves time and lowers the risk. True. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, if you make strawberry donuts, right? And you know people love strawberry donuts. Then, you know, you're gonna sell more strawberry donuts. And then what if you put sprinkles on them? Ooh, you can rebrand it now. But it's still at its base. It's just a strawberry donut. You just put some sprinkles on it. Or you change the recipe. And then over time, you just keep selling strawberry donuts, and eventually, nobody's gonna like strawberry donuts anymore. Eventually, it's not gonna taste as good. You know? Like, Skyrim, it's a big joke of how many times it's been remade. And like, with Pokemon, with Sword and Shield and stuff, it's really sad. Uh, just like, I did not- I know it- like, it's still a game, right? Like, Sword and Shield- at its base, it is a game. You can play it, you can enjoy it. But if you look at, like, a lot of the backgrounds, a lot of the issues it has, the glitches, how easy of a game it is, just a lot of stuff wrong with it. Um, in fact, they sold it for $6. You know, it's like... <laughs> I don't know. Like, it, you, you can still play the game, you can still enjoy it, but in my opinion, it's just like... You could do so much better, but they underpay people and they just remake things and they just want to sell, sell, sell. <laughs> oh yeah, I have these. That's cool. Dragon bone. Ooh, they sell for so much. I think I got them off the first dragon too. Did I sell those? I don't know. Um, I think I need to drop something though. Yeah, I do. I'll drink that, whatever. Um, oh, hello. Don't really need any of this stuff, I don't think. Ooh, a chest. Ooh, missed that before. Ah, goddammit. All right. I don't really drink these often, so we'll just drop a few. What's that? Little well, babes. Can I not try and Inner? Oh, okay. Funny. There's a shrine down in the bottom of this ship. It 
didn't I already come through this way? I did. And here's the hold. So yeah, let's just go back out. Guess I passed that before or something. Did I? How do I get out of here? Alright, you know what? Let's just go to the cargo hold. <laughs> let's just jump out. I'm not good with directions. Alright, Ally, now we're leaving. So, they didn't hide the loot here. Pop. Where would they hide the loot? Would they take it back to town? Would they put it in their bar? Should we go back to town? Hmm. It says wreck of the brine hammer cleared, but it doesn't say cleared on the wreck of the ice runner and stuff. Didn't I kill everyone there? Is it not cleared? Is it not a dungeon? Weird. I killed this guy. None of them have any like notes or anything on them, which would be great. I don't know. I did the cutscene where she wanted to kill me, so I feel like that's enough. Let's go back to solitude. Well, let's go back to solitude. Let's go check their bar. It's this one, right? Yeah, because he was, like, standing here. Oh wait, Angelina's the Romantics. This isn't a bar. For just about everybody in here. Hello! If you have... You're a traveler, correct? Yeah. Have you been to a... I have! Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone... I came here from Whiterun. My daughter, Fura, was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. Fura. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. Oh. I've tried talking don't to Captain recognize Aldous, the name. but he hasn't been any help. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous... Captain Aldous. Yeah. What have you got for so sale? you're an alchemist, then. Uh, not really, but, you know, I I like... I like some haggling. Hmm. Fortunes of healing are a hundred? Why are they so expensive? Explains why I just steal them all the time. Ooh! Damage health poison recipe. Fortify carry weight potion recipe. Does that mean I can carry more? If I drink a potion? That seems like it won't last long, though. I don't know if that's worth it. I have a jar of water, Brian. Can we sell them for seven? Six? They're worth like 50. Or 100, whatever it was. Bruh. Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. Hey. I'm not doing anything. Haha. Uh -huh. I would never. Be careful. Y yeah. She's got some good. Hey, hands off. I should have saved. How do you see me? Oh, you came back around. I it's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? Can I get her to come back to the counter real quick? Come back to the counter. Wanna buy things. 100%. I wanna buy things. Okay, what if I hide. I'll see you next time. 
What if I hide over here? Yeah, she gets like very concerned if you're like hiding. Hi. I have to do this really quick. I got it. Uh, do you want to buy that? It's not. Need something for a potion. Do you want to buy some things that I have so I don't have too much stuff? Ooh, you can buy these. Ah, oh, you don't buy them for as much though. Good enough. That's money. Also, my troll skull. Oh, my mountain is snapped too. I don't really use two handed. Oh, she only has 19 gold left. Okay, thanks for your money. Don't forget me next time you need her. We should save. And figure out wherever their bar is. Bits and pieces. What is that? Looks like a general store? Well, anything good? Viren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Yeah. No. That was an ugly affair. High King Torrid's death has turned the whole town mm. on its head. Between you and me, he wasn't even that good king. All of those rambling speeches about the Empire this and the Empire that. Sounds about right. What do you have for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's worse than my armor. Ooh, minor magicka. Uh, I could probably find it somewhere eventually. Just magic. Hmm. Yeah, see, like my silver garner rings are supposed to be like forty-five. I sell them for, like, way less. Why is my speech so bad? Ooh. I did kind of have that, though. But you sell soul gems. Little common soul. Cost a lot, though. Filled with a greater and grand soul. Hmm. You sell lockpicks! Uh, I'll buy those, actually. You have to know if she, somebody sells them. Um... I don't really have anything to sell you. An orcish arrow, have that. I have a lot of ingredients, but the thing is, right, is I don't really make any uh, potions. Maybe I should. So I can make a bunch of health potions. But also, they're taking up, like, probably so much of my weight. <laughs> ah, whatever. Goodbye, thank you. Oops. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Ooh. That looks like a cool sword, but it looks dual handed. Ooh, that knife looks cool! Damn. Do I?
free to look around. <gasps> she has one on her. Why you? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's gonna take a few tries. I want it though. <gasps> we got it. Don't really need that. I take the key though. Sick. So then if we want to get back into this place later on to try and steal those swords, you know, come back at night. No one's that around. Save. Okay, where do we find where they what put that stuff? What is this? Fletcher. I don't really need a Fletcher. Looking for a bar, whatever. This looks like a blacksmith. Oh, you're Baron! There's no end to the needs of the appear. Take a look. You have anything good? Ooh! Kinda do, though. That's cool. Why does it say plus three when it only does 16 damage? It's weird. No, I, I clicked on apparel. Ah, that's the one I had before, I think. I know, I had the bandit iron shield. I don't think I had the wind resist fire. Ooh. There's a shock, it's kind of nice, but. Eh. I don't think I. Ooh, lock pick. We'll take. Don't think I really need anything else. Return any Thanks. Here, let's box up. Does it now? Huh? If I come at 2 a.m., you'll be out of there. Hello. Fresh fish for you. These are troubled times. New in town, right? If you need a place to work in it, I own it. Oh. Well, okay. My father owns the Winking Skeever, but it's the family business, so it'll okay. be mine when he kicks off. You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? What do you need from the docks? Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding up. I need someone to convince them to release it. I could probably do that. Shouldn't be a problem. Right. Get back to me when you're done, and I'll give you something for your time. Hey, that's easy money. That's not far. Good luck out there. Seems convince like Victoria Vichy to release the... All right. That should be easy money. I actually, I saw I have over 5,000 gold now. So I think if I go back to White Run, that's enough to buy a house, but for, I don't know where you buy a house. If I buy a house, I'm hoping I can just shove a bunch of stuff in a chest so when I go out adventuring. Uh, it won't be uh, completely full all the time. My inventory is just. <laughs> I got too much stuff. But I don't want to, like, throw it away, you know? So it's like... I could sell it, but... I guess we're just gonna run down the docks the boring way. Not that far. Okay. I guess that was just the railing. Weird. Oh, this guy's so nice! Look at the birds! So nice! Cool. Uh, what's the name? Victoria Vichy or something? 
so we'll find her. Who are you? Can't talk to you from here. Hello. Hmm? You. Sorry, I'm planning my wedding this year. Oh, nice. So many Congrats. details to work out. I like your outfit. Some say I got my position because my cousin is the emperor. Oh. Says, the man's given me nothing. He can't even be bothered to attend my wedding. Well, that's rude. Ah, uh, yes. If she wants to pay the 2,000 gold oh. tariff, then we'll be all set. I really need to get back to planning good business. Ah, yes. If she wants to. That's not my problem. <clears throat> That's not my problem. I can't persuade her. Do I have to pay the tariff? I don't think she's going to give me enough money for that. 2,000 gold? How hard it is to get that much money? Oh, I want to get my house. Let's go tell her that there's no, a tariff. The East Empire Company has several. That guy looks cool. Lady Atia says mm, my voice is spice wine for you. It's a family recipe. So I can't do anything. I just have to pay the tariff. They're adequate. Honestly, I rely on the business brought in by the burning of King Olaf, and that's not likely to happen this year. Hmm. What is that? Great big festival put on by the bards every year. <sighs> they burn an effigy of old King Olaf. I'm guessing they don't like King Olaf. Fun. The bards give out spiced wine during the festival, so they put it in a big order. And then, for weeks after, demand is so high, I can barely keep up. Nice. But with the death of High King Torig, the festival has been declared in poor taste. So it looks like it ah. won't happen this year. Oh, yes. A secret family recipe. The only good thing my father, hmm. Octiev, ever did. In fact, just what you see here. Oh. There's just spice wine. Oh, no, you saw other things. All right. Um, good luck out there. Seems like a tough time to be wandering Skyrim. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Eventually, we might come back and help here, Terra. Hey, if we can find those guys and wherever they hid that stuff, maybe we c maybe the Winkins cave ring. All right. I used to be an adventurer like you, but I took an arrow in the knee. Oh yeah, that's crazy. No secret back, as far as I can see. Nothing this side? Okay. Maybe there's a basement or something? They said bar, right? The only one I can think of is here. Yoink. I didn't want the platter. <laughs> A basement, maybe? I know we came down here earlier, but like, where would they have gone? Nothing down here. I could have to Google it. I have to look it up. I I don't know where they would have taken anything. I have no business with you. Leave me. Hey, lizard boy. Do you know them? I don't know if that's her dad's, but. Go away. I have more important All right. things on my mind right now. What if I steal your potatoes? To retire and leave you to run the Skeever's son. 
You just spend your time here bossing me around and yelling for more drinks. You're practically retired already. I can run this fever. You and your sad moments are smart, too. Don't be a silly girl. Running a bar is no job for a young lady. He could do it. He runs a bar, and you said he's one of your favorite girls. <laughs> oh, brother. That's it. I'm not retiring, ever. End of discussion. Just give it to your daughter. Hiya, what's your name? Are you visiting? What do you do? I wish I could answer those questions, but the game does not allow me. Papa says I won't see Rob here anymore. But he wouldn't tell me why not. Yeah. My Papa says I'm gregarious. Just like him. Gregarious? He says it means smart. But my brother says he's wrong. I don't know what that means. Hi yes? Okay. Need something? We've run out of dialogue options. Hello, I'm Gizli, but you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. Oh, you. Hello. Welcome to the center of the world, or at least my brother Erica's world. Yes, my older brother, and the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. But really, since Torig's death, Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's Court. Okay. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. Okay. Oh, if you're looking for a good attitude, go see the bards. They'll fake it for you if nothing else. If you're looking for Fair truth enough. instead, see Noster. He's a good example of what life has to offer. And if you're just looking is. to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. Oh, okay. Goodbye. We'll speak again later, if we must. Right then. I'm gonna have to look up where those guys went. Wait, can I like look in quest or anything? Does it say... It just says find out where they took the loot. I don't... Mm, I don't see it on my map. I don't think it'd be like all the way down here or anything. Yeah, it doesn't say cleared. Should it? Hold on. Yeah, it did that. Okay. Maybe it's because it doesn't say cleared. Did I just like miss something? We'll find out, Allie. Maybe there's like a hidden note or something. Sit on the bench. I don't think it went up here this way. Doesn't seem like there's anything here, anyways. Yeah, you don't have anything. Let's go back down. Maybe I forgot to kill someone or something? There's gotta be something I missed. It says it's not cleared. And that makes me intrigued. I will take your clothes, thank you. It's a nice room. Okay, neither of these books give me anything. Empty. Sleep in the bed though, which is interesting. Maybe we just live in the ship. Take out the dead bodies. Pretty grippy in here though. Maybe it, she has something on her body that I missed? Like, I don't understand. 
A lot of lore books everywhere. Hero sword. Eh. Take that, sure. I'm just double checking because I don't. I'm confused. Go back down. I mean, there's plenty of barrels and stuff still here, like. Why not? I'll take your arrows. She don't have anything on her. I'm already, like, all empty. Why is this place not cleared? It should be. I think that was a bucket. <laughs> yeah, there's there's just nothing here. Cool. Yeah, there's no way they would have taken it back to the docks or anything. So you don't want to get caught. Flooded. I don't know. Allie, do you know? There's just like another one of them around here somewhere that I need to kill. I am confusion. Skyrim explained. I'm stuck in a rock. Maybe we go back to that house I found. That was locked. The abandoned track. Let's go back that way. They can't have gotten far, right? I still can't open this door, can I? Ugh. Fine, whatever. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> what is the quest called? It's out. Um, find out where Sherry Rose Bandits took the loot. Wait, there was a note on her corpse? Hold on, I didn't even read all that, but I just read the note on her corpse will tell where he can be found. Hold on. I am a fool. Or grotto. Blue did a work at the light of Shadar. Shortly thereafter, make sure he's taken care of. Where's Broken or Grotto? I'm hoping my map will tell me. It's all the way over there. Let's go. We can't vouch for our own enemies nearby? What enemy? The deer? Where? 
Okay, if I ride over here, can I fast travel? Uh, weird. I guess we're riding back. pretty cold water considering there's ice around can I try now okay I, I don't know what enemy was around but cool hey an ally came with me good gotta ride up this way Water Grotto. That's not the ore place. Broken Ore Grotto. Do I have to go through or can I go around? I'm guessing I go around. Oh. Yeah, maybe right up this way and try going that way. This looks good. I love the little snowy wind effect. Makes me happy. Like, that's such a small detail. stick on the path, shouldn't I? Eh, you know. Oh! Suddenly changed. Not as snowy here. A lot of cairns around. Okay, it's for the trail, right? Um, went too far. It's probably down here, just straight this way. I actually really, really like this game. Like, this might legitimately become one of my favorite games. Cause like, this is exactly up my alley. Alright. Uh, not to- <laughs> not to make a pun on your name there, Ally, but um... I don't want you getting hurt, so I'm gonna go ahead. Again, though, they're dressed in the cave, so that's fine. I'm gonna save... Just in case... Defeat Jari Ra. Alright. Is someone there? Hmm. Looks like we both have shields, what a conundrum. Guys are done. Thank you. How did you hit me? And these guys die so fast. It's for the money. This is a cool place though. But check this out. It's like raining inside because of all the like moisture. Super cool. What did I step on? 
Okay. Cheese. Nom nom. My boat's going off. Hi. Watch out. Thank you. It's not here though. Ooh. Bunch of wine. Take a bit of that. From here. Okay, that looks like that continues on. It's over here. Sausage a slip around? Huh? Sort of. Ooh, potion, thank you. There's no escape. Uh-huh. For you there might not be. Yeah, look, he's got that black line on his face. Do all these guys do have that? Oh, there's oil in the ground. Why is there oil in the ground here? I have soup, hell yeah. I don't really like tomato soup, but maybe Oscar does. Uh, okay. Uh, oh wait, there's more here. The boxes or chest. Take all that. Uh, we can go up. Funky fresh. 21 gold. Okay, so yeah, I think it just looped around from where that was. There's up there. The gasp. Oh, I think we just accidentally went too far. Well, not accidentally, but it's fine. Time to end this little game. Womp. Womp. And he's gonna fall. Make it really hard to take the money off, you know. Oh, that's where I was down there. I looped around and came up here. Cool. He's in there. Anything fun up here? No, I just go around. Okay. What was that? So weird. Can I take on multiple of these guys at once? The answer is no. <laughs> yes? Alright, I'll try this again. Oh, over here. What's there? Missed. Somehow. Press. Boop. It's rare to know that this place is pretty easy. Nothing over there, it's supposed to just apples. Take the goat wheels. Goat wheels? Yeah. Take the goat wheels again. Ciao! Noticed that before. See, sometimes it's worth it to die. Five more gold. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, hello. Any more? Thanks. Take your healing potion. Uh, your tomato soup once again, and... Was there money bag in here? 
No, there was the chest. Ah. Alright. There's also a chest here. A lot of free money. Maybe we can help that lady pay off her debt in no time. You know? Made 2,000 gold. Or, well, it's not debt, it's a tariff, which is like taxes, so. Join the view? You didn't die. <laughs> Now you can fall off. Goodbye. There he goes. Alright, let's wait for this guy to come up here. Oh yeah, we can just wait for them to come up, just like one by one. I actually do quite a bit of health. save. Oh, they look cool. I didn't save. I literally, I even told myself after I got that money, I was like, I'm gonna save. No, I didn't. <laughs> ah, whatever. Should go make dinner. I'm messaging Yoshi if you're wondering what I'm doing. Because he's also currently playing Skyrim and streaming it, which is funny. Um... Oh, right, true. I forgot it's no longer the weekend. Bad times. Okay. I really want to kill this guy and like beat this place, but I don't feel like doing it for a third time right now. I really need to remember to save. I'm not good at that. I'm just like, oh, I can just do it this time, you know? Super easy. I got it this time. Nope. You know? Uh, why well, can't open the internet? Hello? Uh, Skyrim? Okay, I might have to close my room. Yeah, stop. Yep. I saved. Should be fine. Uh, we go to Twitch. We're gonna raid somebody. Um... Coincidentally, Roz is also playing Skyrim. That's funny. Um... You know what? We'll just... We'll just raid Yoshi. Why not, right?
Alright, we'll, we'll just raid him. There. Um, I'm probably gonna go make some dinner. Uh, real quick. And... Yeah. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Night, Scratch! I hope you guys have a good evening. Um, not sure what I'll play tomorrow. I might play... Probably Minecraft or Skyrim. And if people are on tomorrow, uh, maybe we'll do a DVD or something, but yeah. Good, good times. I'm gonna hit raid now, even though I haven't opened up, uh, his stream yet. <laughs> there we go. Why can't I hear him? In a cave and it just trolls in. I can hear him. Hey, Pebble, thanks for the raid. Uh, yes, said. Oh, Hello. Hello. See how much time we have? Oh, hi, you're in call now. Yeah. Hello, how's it Boo. going? 